circulating live, but we're going to post it next week. grateful for in Spartanburg? Are you gonna ask me? What we're grateful for, huh? Betsy, what are you grateful for? Definitely, Definitely each other, man. Yeah, yeah, family, health. Our employees, our loved ones, yeah, man. <laughs> Bunch of awesome people in Spartanburg. People. The people. <laughs> We're friends who feel like family and a small, intimate community that makes me feel at home. I'm grateful for all the great food and farmers we have. Yeah. Yeah. I'm grateful for a lot of things in Spartanburg. That we have such a cool city and community. I'm grateful that Spartanburg is such a college-related town and that it blesses us with so many different opportunities and ways to be able to celebrate the city. And I'm really grateful to be a part of this process. And I'm grateful every day that I get to go teach a great group of eighth graders. So I've never felt the passion that I feel in Spartanburg, any other town I've lived in. Great family and friends and just love being here. It has the most magnificent people anywhere. They are warm, they are friendly, they are loving, and they love this place. Good people who buy and sell books <laughs> and make other people read them. I am grateful for Hub City Bookstore. The Hub City Press, I think, is something that's really captured this community in a way it allows us to have a dialogue with one another. I'm grateful for the great sense of community in Spartanburg, the wonderful people that support us and donate to Hub City and the wonderful staff of women that I get to work with every day. This is what Spartanburg is all about. Um, the most important thing is how's my hair? <laughs> Better than mine. <laughs>